Hello everyone, welcome back once more to Let's Play The War Room, Season 2. <laughs> this time, we have Long Road, a map, as I said last time, I don't believe I've ever actually attempted before, or at least not in living memory. You'll notice it's against Jess and there isn't a single port or airport on the entire map, which makes it perfect for her. So that could be difficult, but let's go. Who shall we use? Well, I'm not going to use Hawk every single time because part of the original draw of the War Room, at least for me, was the challenge of using a different CO for a lot of the different maps and not just blitzing them all with one who's really good all the time. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a mirror match. Jess versus Evil Jess in a battle to the death. Where have we heard that before, I wonder? I'm not sure we have. Ah, now that's an interesting development. This must be the first of the War Room maps, but it certainly isn't the last, where the enemy gets free units to begin with. In this case, it's not very many, it's just a couple of recons, but it's a problem because it means they can attack you right off the bat and really quickly. Look at this. That's how fast recons are. You never really think about it because they're so slow on most terrain. But on roads, they screw you up. On roads, they make a mess of your face. And stay off the roads, or you'll get run down. By tanks and jeeps with machine guns on top of them. Yeah, you're gonna get hit by two recons fairly fast, so. So build a tank, is my advice. Granted, viewers, this isn't much different from my usual advice. I am an advocate of building many tanks as quickly as possible. But, hey, that's fine, everybody loves them. Everybody loves tanks, everybody loves tanks, except for you, apparently. I'm gonna get some transport mobilizing as well, because this map's quite spaced out, especially that area in the corner just there. You're gonna wanna capture that very quickly. I would have, I would imagine. You also wanna get to the silos before Jess does. That should be fairly easy though, because they're very near. Not a problem, not for me and not for you, if you know what's good for you. You didn't expect me to do that, but you underestimate the power of infantry, you fool. You will be crushed by me, and now I'm gonna build an artillery. Now you will be turned into a bee, that is to mean flattened. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't really string that one out for too much longer, but I tried. Okay, so you can see where the battle lines are starting to be drawn. I didn't actually notice this earlier, but this area over the side here could be a problem. It means you don't get to present a single united front here, and in fact, this is something I'm going to want to grab hold of fairly fast. If I don't, I'm going to be relegated here, which is attackable from two sides, whereas this one, only really one, and it's this area here. Tricky then, to be sure, but it shall be done. And I will make it so, with many tanks, more tanks than you could imagine in one day. Hey, hey, here is a tank, <laughs> running you down, and grinding your bones into the dirt, 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 dirt on your bones, running out of ideas. <laughs> day five. What's Evil Jess gonna present us with this time? I wonder. Not a whole lot. It's going to be a fairly slow start because of the fairly substantial difference between the two of us. Physical distance, that is. But we can start mounting up our forces. I'm going to want to move this, this infantry into here and then drive it along this way. Hopefully I'll be able to get to this base with something else. Probably this APC, in fact. How much uh, moves do they have? Six. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely no problem for me, so I will take that, and then I will crush you with it. I'm gonna drop a tank from a great height onto your skull, and make your brains leak out your fucking ears. <laughs> We're only struggling for those. Okay, we can see we're gonna have our first little conflict right here. The thing is, the AI didn't seem to exercise its known ability to be reasonably sensible and let me destroy a tank for free. I'm not really sure why that was allowed. Come on, Evil Jess, pick your game up, would you? That's a basic requirement, or at least I thought it was anyway, but I was wrong. 
mind, never mind. Let's just build a whole bunch of tanks. Everybody needs tanks every day of the week. Drive them to work and drive them over your colleagues. And have a little laugh about it at the same fucking time. Oh man, it's bad news bears for them. Bad news tanks, really. I, that's what I mean to say. Right, so you can see we're starting to move our APC towards that base over there now, which we're going to want to capture pretty, pretty swiftly, I would say. We also would ideally want this. Unfortunately for me, the AI is not in the interest of letting me have it so easily. But I have a plan. If I block this infantry from getting to it, at the very least, the worst that will happen is I'll take one artillery shot here. And if I put my artillery back here, I can defend it fairly easily. Planage, viewers! I have plenty of it! I have plans coming at my ears. No, really, I do. It's far too many plans. Most of them are shit. <laughs> Most of them won't go anywhere. Surely you understand that, but apparently you don't. Only ten grand a turn. Bad news. Bad news for everybody. Well, it's not really bad news for evil, Jess, now I think about it. Shit. The sense I get from this one, viewers, is it's going to be a fairly long, drawn-out battle. And I need to mark myself a place out in history as the ultimate genius, perhaps? Let's hope nobody gets that one. <laughs> this is some obscure dialogue that doesn't really need to be remembered. Now, there's quite a lot of forces down here. I don't want to be uh, tangling with those too much. I can avoid it. I need to get a Neo tank so I can outclass the tech level, which is fairly low at the moment. Mid-level tech right there. Um, let's see. That's going to take a while to capture, so I may not get a chance to build there. If I do, it's going to be a uh, hmm, tricky, to say the least. Well, I've got that captured now, so I can move this back. And that should work fine for me. Don't see. I think that you do. For now, I'll satisfy myself with walking. Got an idea here. I'm gonna try and save for that Neo Tank in the next two turns coming, without spending anything in between. And such a oh, that could be a problem. I may lose that left front. It may come down to losing it. That is gonna set me back by two whole turns, and in this game, one turn can mean a hell of a lot. Of course, that little firepower boost did help a lot. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Let's send this back, because I reckon I can pick up another infantry and make it worth my while. If I push down here, it would be pot potentially possible to make a sneak attack. Two reasons why I don't think it's going to work, though. One, lots of forests around this very narrow area, making mobility hard. And two, it brings you past this area, which will allow you to be attacked from the flank. Especially when there's a base there. It's not a good plan, I don't think. I think we need to focus on this side and come around. It's longer, but I reckon we can hold this with a handful of units. I've, I've done that trick before. Last mission would tell you that, I think. Was it the last mission that I did that? Honestly, I don't remember. I just need something fairly substantial to block the gap, and then I'll... Uh, yeah, blah, Indirect units. There we go. There is what I was looking for. Indirect units stacked up behind it, as best I can do. That, to me, seems like the best idea here. Because then I can keep that held with a couple of units and focus all my attention on everything that's going on over here. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking medium tank. I need some more beef up in this front. Beef is necessary. Even outside my Sunday dinners. <laughs> Wouldn't be British if I didn't adhere to stereotypes. Except for the tea drinking one. I do that. But uh, this looks like a fairly interesting clutch of target. I'm going to go with that. This tank on the right here is nearer. It could cause more of a problem if I allow it to. However, with things as they are right there... Can I get away with that? Yes, I can. Hang on, better just double check that. I don't really want to... Yeah. Something along those lines is what I was talking about. Let me move this tank over here. Then this rocket down here. There we go, that covers me pretty nicely. Awesome power shall be long to me. I will claim it for my own. 
And you cannot stop me No matter how hard No matter how hard you try You'll fail, fail forever Yeah, and die Yeah, there's no safe way to attack that infantry, I don't think No Best thing to do then is just wait there for now And once again, don't build anything I want to get a Neo Tank and I want to get one now Or as near as damn it and damn it, is probably going to be uttered quite a lot. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be uttered right about now, actually. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, man. Alright, we'll take you out of the equation, shall we? Let's do that. Because, unfortunately, Jesse's going to be able to cause a lot of problems with that rocket. And I, when I say a lot of problems, I mean a lot of problems. But hey, maybe I can think of something. Hey, maybe I can think of something right here. I really think so. I think it's a good idea. I uh, don't you think so? I'm afraid that I do. I wish you to who die to extinguish yourself to evaporate before my awesome power. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Bad news bears again. I really need to stop visiting their cottage in the woods and eating cake at their house. I mean, they're a friendly bunch of fellas, but come on, there's an addiction brewing here. Okay, a power being hurled in my direction. How will I handle this situation? Well, I was hoping that... that well, I suppose better that than some of the other things it could have been. Unfortunately, tank damage I really can't afford to take right now. Whoops, I may have hit the speed up button there. <laughs> Whoops.